afternoon, another day in the shop. Today we are going to start on the deck. I'm going to be putting the expanded metal, cutting it, welding it, putting that into place uh, along the outsides. Also, the thing that's been bothering me is this jack. It needs attention to. So first things first, I am going to take off the jack and what it is is the pin that catches it and holds it in place is bent. Somebody had forced it. Who knows when it happened before I got it. I'm going to pull the jack off and uh, see if I can't uh, straighten that. First, what I need to do is I gotta pull this pin. Out. I'm gonna pull that out and uh, I'm gonna decompress the spring. And she got a little bent. We'll have to see what we can do to straighten that up. All right, so <clears throat> I ended up taking this all apart. And the reason was is because this was all bent. So now, put it all back together. Um, straighten out the pin. The pin will slide in, go where it needs to go. These jacks are pretty simple. There's not a lot to them. Expansion pin will work pretty good. Alright, so we have the jack all done. All back together. Everything's working as it should. And we'll just put it back on. We can go on to the next project. All right, so now that the jack is done, uh, we can go and start on the deck.
center part of this, you know, of course it's going to be a little raised, and it might start to droop a little. It's not a big deal. Like I said, that's what the runner supports are for, and all it basically needs to do is hold me or whatever. At least now I can walk on it. The mowers can ride up on it. That will work. Since I don't have any bolts, I'm going to drill holes and I'm just going to wire it on there. Like I said, there shouldn't be a lot of weight here in the center anyway. So for now, I just want to keep the boards from sliding off. And then later on, I will go ahead and bolt everything on so it don't go nowhere. This wire is like really heavy duty fencing wire. So if I double it up, there's no way it's going to go anywhere. and stuff I'll get it all bolted down or I may if I can do it get more expanded metal and I'll go down the center with expanded metal and then we don't have the wood at all which is what I would rather do.
Well, I ran out of welding wire. Luckily, I was able to get a few uh, deals on that board to keep it from going anywhere. I was going to build a ramp for this, but I remembered that I had uh, these ramps. They're your harbor freight ramps. I've used them quite often for other things. Considering the height of the deck of the trailer, they should work really good. It's not, you know, nothing real special. It's just got to haul, haul my mowers around. Tomorrow, uh, I'll work on getting the units out that I want to put on the trailer, and we will test it out and see how well it works. If the ramps work uh, good enough, I will take and just <clears throat> uh, put stakes on them, and then when I put in the stake pockets, they can just slide in, and then the ramps are always with the unit. Out of the way, just an old beat up trailer that I'm turning into something useful. So if you guys got an old trailer laying around and you're wondering what to do with it and you happen to have a mower, well, even if it's an old boat trailer, if you got an old boat, you can recycle your boat, get rid of it at a recycling place, landfill, whatever, <clears throat> you could turn around and take the trailer and turn it into a mower trailer. Uh, if it's got tandem axles and it's got the rating, you could turn it into a wood hauler. There's all kinds of things that a lot of people don't think about. Oh, it's a boat trailer, so the framing is different and stuff like that. But it doesn't matter if the framing is different. Turn around, you put in your cross members or ribbings, uh, Put in some runners and uh, you, you're good to go. She'll be a good trailer. Instead of going out and spending between four and eight thousand dollars on a trailer, you can turn around and refurbish that boat trailer. I did these videos just to kind of give people ideas. If they've got a trailer that's sitting in the back, they, they just don't know what to do with. It's got an old boat on it that's no good. They want to get rid of the boat and keep the trailer well you know a video like this is helpful when you know what it is that uh, you would like to do with that old boat trailer or if you just don't know what to do with the boat it's too old you can't sell it you can't get rid of it nobody wants it take the boat to a recycle place or get rid of the boat bring the trailer back and give that trailer a new look on life and make it useful again I'd rather do uh, expanded steel on this. It's a lot cleaner look. Um, and I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm just gonna use this cheap metal or this uh, plywood so that I can uh, you know, get by with it. And then I'm going to go to expanded steel. The steel plant didn't have another sheet. So I was able to get the one when I really wanted three, but they only had one. So I ended up getting you know getting what they had and I've got these ramps these ramps are pretty good what I'll do is I'll take and uh, you know uh, build my stake pockets and then I've got this rectangular tubing I will do another video on that and then do something like that you know and then the ramps can slide down into the stake pockets they're always out of the way and they're useful again so that's my plan to do with that is to make the ramps you know more useful the nice thing about these ramps is they're really really light um, they are rated at 500 pounds you can strengthen these ramps just by taking one by or something like that and you can bolt you can lag bolt you know uh, some one by into the insides of these and it'll give it some more structural strength and i might end up doing that depending on you know, but they seem to be able to handle the weight of everything that I've ever used them for. I will be dropping, you know, sub videos when I bring the trailer back in to say, hey, you know, you remember that old trailer? We'll bring it back in and I'll do an upgrade on it or something like that. But for now, I've got a lot of other projects that I need to start working on. And I'm pretty much thinking that once I get this shop cleaned out and stuff, I'm going to start doing some work. <laughs> on the wrecker bed so i i hope that's something that you guys might enjoy 
Um, I'm going to be cleaning all the metal off of it and stuff and organizing it, stacking it over so I can start uh, cutting it down. And then basically all I'm going to be utilizing is the boom and the main frame for the boom and uh, where it connects to the truck. So I will be getting started on that. I also have a couple of other projects that uh, I will be throwing in between there so you guys don't get bored with just a bunch of trailer builds. So next project will be something different. I will toss a video short, I'm sure, of, uh, of me loading up the mowers for the first time so you all can see the kind of space that I have with the mower units that I'm, that I'm needing to use. So, as always, thank you for watching, and stick around, like, subscribe, share, get the name out there. I would sure like to uh, present more people that uh, like to be able to tinker around their shop or have projects around their shop that they need to do. With that all being said, if you like this video, check out that one.